Hey friends, how are you? I hope that you're doing really well and enjoying your time at home. If you haven't been to story time with me before, my name is Miss Lisa and I get to do the story times at Worthington Park Library. Um, today we are going to be talking about one of our normal April themes because we are into April even though we don't have any idea what day it is or what week it is. Um, we are going to be talking about April showers. What does April showers mean? Have you ever heard that saying? April showers bring May flowers. Well, we've had a lot of rain, so I think we should have a lot of flowers this year. What do you think? I know it's been a lot of rain. Okay, well, we're going to talk a little bit about rain today, and we're going to talk about something that comes after rain, sometimes with light. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Yeah? We're gonna talk a little bit about rainbows today. We're gonna to start with a story about rain. This one is called Rain. And this is being read with permission from Houghton Mifflin. Houghton Mifflin? I'm not sure. Uh, and the author of this story is Linda Ashman. And the pictures are by Christian Robinson. And it's a good one to be able to see the pictures. So I'm gonna try really hard to make sure that you can see all of the pictures because there's two people talking, but there's not a whole lot of words. Okay, are you ready? Rain. Oh, what's he doing? Same thing he was doing on the cover. Does anybody like to do that? Yeah. My kids like to puddle jump too. Oh, rain. Oh. He's not very excited about the rain, is he? <gasps> rain! Oh, they have very different opinions on rain, don't they? Who looked more excited about the rain? What do you think? The older man or the younger boy? Which one do you think looks more excited? I think you're right. Yeah. <gasps> Nasty galoshes, blasted overcoat. There goes my hair. Does he have that much hair to start with? Not really, huh? All right, let's see. What does the boy think? Is it raining cats and dogs? It's raining frogs and pollywogs. Hippity hop. Look at that. He has some fun outerwear. I have some friends that have fun frog things that they wear outside, too. <gasps> Good morning, sir. Hardly. Dang puddle. Oh no, he's mad that he stepped in a puddle. Oh, does anybody like puddles? Some of my kids like puddles too. <gasps> Good morning, young man. Rub it. What's he doing? He's jumping in the puddle. All right, let's see what else. Enjoy your paper. <clears throat> Just more bad news. Oh, what a grumpus. <gasps> How are you, Mr. Frog? Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Get it? What does hoppy sound kind of like? It sounds like happy, doesn't it? Aren't these pictures fun? No. Oh, and then they're both going to eat at the Rain or Shine Cafe. Finally, we're here. Coffee, black. Cocoa and cookies, please. Hmm. Which one of those orders sounds yummier? Do you think you'd rather have cocoa and cookies? I think I'd rather have the coffee. Oh, oh no. How does that older man look? Does he still look a little bit grumpy? He does, doesn't he? What about the little boy? Does he look like he's having fun? I think he does. I think you're right. He says, yum, and his mama says, delicious. Watch out. Sorry. Ribbit? What's he offering the man? Oh, he's trying to give him a cookie. That's so thoughtful. Oh, I don't think he wants the cookie, though. He just leaves. And then the little boy notices. What does he notice? What's right there? What is that? His hat. Oh no! Oh, and he runs after him! Oh, 
Always make sure it's okay with your grown-up if you run after somebody else. <gasps> hey, wait! You? And the little boy, what's he doing? What do you do? He put on his hat. And then guess what he says? You? He's doing an impression of the man. <gasps> the man took his hat and then said, that one too. Mine? <gasps> what did he do with the hat? says ribbit oh the little boy gave him a cookie again and he says yum oh. welcome back sir ribbit what's he doing now he's jumping in the puddle I love that in that story the little boy shows kindness to the man he tried to give him his cookie. He helped him with his hat. And he gave him his cookie at the end, too. All right. Now, you can look outside and think, oh, it looks grumpy out. It's going to be a bad day. Or you can look outside and think, hmm, it's a little rainy out. I think we can have fun. All right. Now, today, it's actually a little bit sunny. So you'll probably hear my kids talking and yelling outside because they're playing outside again. Um, but we have had a lot of rain this spring and it's been a lot of storms at night too yeah now i know a song about somebody in the rain but it's not a person it's about a spider do you know a song about a spider in some rain <gasps> get your spider fingers ready you ready we're gonna do itsy bitsy spider all right, let's try making our spiders. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Good job! Do you remember what we're working every time we do things like that with our fingers? <gasps> we're building our big writing muscles. And you know I'm obsessed about your writing muscles. All right. Now, before we do our next story, we're going to talk a little bit about rain. This is a lot of science this week. We're going to talk about a lot of science concepts. And this week with rain, we're going to talk about a big idea. So I want to make sure, do you have your big idea brain ready? Is it ready? Okay, did you wear your smarty pants today? Okay, we're all ready, good to go? Okay, well, this is the big idea, and so I'm gonna get out a big idea board. Oh, all right. Whew. This is normally where I write all of our school plans for the day. So I had to erase all that, and I'll probably forget what I'm supposed to do with my kids. All right, this is our big idea board. We're gonna talk about some really big concepts related to water. This is something called the water cycle. Now cycle means it's something that kind of happens over and over again. So it almost happens in a big circle where the same thing happens over and over again. So this water cycle, or you, you could think of circle even if you wanted. So this water cycle, let's see, how does it start? Well, normally you're going to think of what happens. How do we get water? It rains, right? So we're going to start with some clouds. And the clouds are going to have some rain come down. And that rain is going to form into puddles. Excuse my incredible artistic skills. All right, so we're gonna have some puddles. This is grass, obviously, not waves. All right, so we have puddles, and what happens to the puddles? When it rains, does the puddle stay there forever? What happens to it? There's this amazing thing that happens that you don't really get to see. 
and it's something called, are you ready for a big word? We're gonna have a couple of them. Evaporation. And with evaporation, that puddle is going to start to get warm, and then it's going to get a little bit smaller. And you can see that part. You'll see it start to get a little bit smaller, and then a little bit smaller until the puddle goes away. What you don't get to see is that this water is going to turn into a gas. It's going to turn into air, and you won't be able to see it, but it's going to go up, 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 up. All right, so we're going to we're going to draw it just because you can't really see it. So I want you to have an idea. So this part right here is evaporation. That's when your puddle gets hot and the water turns into gas and it starts to go up, up, up into the air. Guess where it goes from there? It starts to form into a little cloud and something called condensation happens. The cloud gets bigger and bigger and more full and when it can't hold any more water, guess what happens? It rains again. Do you see how this kind of turned into a circle? I did it the opposite way of this first circle I drew, didn't I? Yeah, I did. All right, so the rain comes down, doesn't it? And then the water evaporates and it condenses in the clouds and then the rain falls down again. That's the water cycle. You just learned like a giant big second grade concept. You did really great with it. All right, so oh, we're gonna be done with this big science idea for right now, and we're gonna come back to it in a little bit. But, whew, all right, that was a lot of learning. Yeah, my brain hurts a little bit. I'm gonna put my, well, where am I gonna put my marker? All right, we'll put it over there. All right, whew, got our fingers all ready to go. Let's do one more story right now, and then we'll get our fingers dancing again, okay? This one is called Wake Up, Color Pop. And this book is uh, by Random House Publishing, and the author is Tia Morley. And I love the illustrations in this one too. I really hope that you're able to see them well once I publish this so you can see it nicely. All right, but it's a fantastic one to snuggle up and really get to look at the pictures. Ready? <gasps> Wake up, little pup. What color do you see here? What color is it? Oh, it's yellow. Now where the sunshine hit the tail of the puppy. What happened to the puppy's tail? What happened? It turned yellow. Does that happen in real life when you get sunshine? No, you might get a little tan, but you're probably not gonna turn yellow. Maybe even a little pink, but probably not yellow. <gasps> Ready? <gasps> Out we go. Yellow. Good job. Oh, he's gonna chase that yellow bird. <gasps> Flutter, leap, lunge. What color? Orange, that's right. Now orange is tricky because there's not really a rhyme for it, but some of these are gonna have really nice rhymes. Ready? <gasps> Jump, bound, race ahead, red. Did you hear how red and a head rhymed? Now what's happening to the puppers every time the puppy gets around a new color? You see what's happening? It's changing color. That's pretty cool. Trot, greet, circle. What color? Purple. Good job. Sniff, wade, splash through. What color do we have? Blue! Great job. Let's see what else we have. Oh, squiggle, wiggle, squirm between, green. Isn't this one beautiful? I love the illustrations in this picture. You know what I see starting to happen over in the corner though? What do you see? I think I see clouds starting to form. Now we know when clouds get so big and full that they can't hold any more water, what happens? <gasps> drip, 
drop, splatter, bark. <laughs> Dark. Ooh. What colors do you see here? There's a lot of gray and black. Mm-hmm. And it's raining now, isn't it? Shiver, huddle, stay gray. Where are his colors going? Not right now. Thank you. Why does she want a hammer? It's not scary. Okay. All right, so he's in the gray. But look, all those other colors are in the puddles, aren't they? Let's see what else happens. Whisper, nudge, look, <gasps> play. What do you see starting to come out? The rain is over and what's coming up? The sun's coming back out. Oh, and the puddle still holds the colors. Ready? Shimmy, shake. What happened to the puppers now? Did it roll back in all of those bright rainbow colors? It did. Oh, look what happens when he shook. Oh, no. Where did that go? It went everywhere, didn't it? If you have a doggy, have you ever seen them after bath time? Yeah, we have a big old foster doggy right now, and he does that after he gets wet. Mm -hmm. <gasps> World awake. Good job. Isn't that beautiful? I love the way they use all the colors. Ramble roam, amble home. And roam and home are good rhymes too. Oh, isn't that one beautiful? You're doing such a great job. Do you need to wiggle around a little bit? You've been sitting for a while. The nice thing about this is that you can just pause me and get up and move around, can't you? But for right now, let's go ahead and do rain on the green grass. If you don't know this one, we're just gonna start by tickling our toes and tickle where the grass would go. And then we're going to tickle, let's see, rain on the green grass, rain on the trees. We're gonna tickle our heads and then we're gonna make a little house. See, rain on the house top, but not on me. No, cause I'm inside my house, huh? All right, let's try it. Although we've gone out in the rain a lot lately. Let's try it, okay? Ready, let's tickle those toes. Rain on the green grass, rain on the trees, rain on the housetop, but not on me. Good job. Let's try one more time. Rain on the green grass, rain on the trees, rain on the housetop, but not on me. Good job. We're going to do another, another book. This one's itty bitty. It is. It's one that my kids have been reading since my big kid was a little kid. So we've been reading this book for like 13 years and it shows it's a little worse for wear. Um, but it is by Piggy Toes Press and it's called What Makes a Rainbow? And it's a magic ribbon book. Hmm. What could that possibly mean? Oh yeah, look at that. Little Rabbit and his mother were sitting under a big red flower petal. Look, said Little Rabbit, it stopped raining. Yes, said Mama Rabbit, soon we'll see a rainbow. What makes a rainbow, asked Little Rabbit. Why don't you ask your friends, said Mama Rabbit. Ladybug, what makes a rainbow? Red, said Ladybug, gently closing her red wings. You need red to make a rainbow. Mr. Fox, what makes a rainbow? Orange, said Mr. Fox, swishing his orange tail. You need orange to make a rainbow. Little Chick, what makes a rainbow? Asked Little Rabbit. Yellow, said Little Chick, fluffing her soft yellow fuzz. You need yellow to make a rainbow. Are all chicks yellow? No, they're not. With the ones we had here, we had a brown one and a black one and a yellow one and a reddish one. They were really pretty. <gasps> Mr. Grasshopper, what makes a rainbow? What color is Mr. Grasshopper gonna say? Yeah, green. 
You need green to make a rainbow. Do you see the pretty ribbon that happens here? I know. So fun. Oh, oh, oh no. Oops. Bluebird, what makes the rainbow? What color is Bluebird going to say? Blue. You need blue to make a rainbow. And butterfly, what makes a rainbow? What color is butterfly going to add? What do you think? Purple. You need purple. <gasps> well, said Mama Rabbit to Little Rabbit, now you know what makes a rainbow. Rain, colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and sunshine. Yeah, you really just need sunshine and rain because that's what actually makes a rainbow. Sunshine and rain. Yep, we need rain in the atmosphere and the way the sunshine hits it, you get to see the rainbow. Now I have a couple projects that you can do about rain and rainbows. So I have some science experiments. The first one I'm actually gonna show you is sitting right here next to me. So I'm gonna move ya. Hi! All right, I'll try not to make you too nauseous. Look at this science experiment that we did. Oh, my kids and I started this earlier today. But if you can see, we have just some blue water in a baggie and we just dyed it with food coloring and then some clouds that we drew on the baggie and then we taped it up in a window and it's really hard to tell right now, but it's starting to gather condensation. So it's starting to evaporate. See if I put it up, see how there's not any of that. There's not any condensation up here now. So you can kind of see it happening up here. And then as it starts to get warmer, guess what? Oh, sorry about that. Guess what it's gonna turn into? It's going to start getting rain up at the top and it'll rain down. So it's not a super warm day. So my experiment isn't showing very much right now, but you can make one at home. All you need is a Sharpie or some type of marker that can write on a baggie if you wanna draw the pictures. You don't even have to draw the pictures on the outside. And then you need a little bit of food coloring and some water. And then you'll, I used tape to tape the baggie into the window. Um, you can just kind of put it where it'll get sunlight, but I think it works a little bit better if it's taped up so that we don't push on it and touch it as much. All right, the next thing I thought of that you could do is that you can make a weather journal at your house. So you could draw a picture of what the weather looks like each day and maybe even try to sound out the different words. Now, if you were doing a weather journal last week, you would have had to write down that it was snowing, hailing, raining, sunny, cloudy, and windy all on the same day. <laughs> so it's a fun idea. It might give you a lot to do right now because our weather has been so silly lately, hasn't it? All right, so that's one of the ideas I had. So you can make the baggy water cycle and learn all about how water cycles work. You can make a weather journal. You can draw the water cycle, kind of like I did on my big board. Whoop. <laughs> you could draw one at home and you could put that picture in the comments if your grown up says that's okay. I would love to see your artwork. I miss seeing my friend's artwork so much. Um, and then the last idea I have is rainbow walking water. So I'm going to move over to the table and show you that. Hold on just a moment. All right, friends, this is our rainbow walking water experiment. So I have six cups. I put water in three of them, about halfway. Now I'm going to add food coloring in yellow, red, and blue. All right, I'm gonna let those get a little swirl. Oh, sounds like my dog is coming in and so might be my kids. All right, and now we're going to, let's see, we're going to add these paper towels that I folded and we're going to put them each with one side into water and one side into an empty cup. All right, so we have each of them have a little bit of water and their food coloring. And then there's connectors going in between all of them with paper towels. 
Now, I don't want to be wasteful, so we're going to actually compost these paper towels once we're all done. All right, we'll check back in in a little bit and see what these look like. All right, so we started these about, oh, three and a half hours ago before story time. So I'm waiting. It's not quite there yet. But look at what's happening with the colors. What are they doing? Do you see what's happening? They're going up into the paper towels. And what do you think is going to happen when they meet in the middle? Do you have any theories on what that's going to do? Do you have a hypothesis? Do you know what a hypothesis is? That's a fancy word for a good guess. Yeah, so you could make a hypothesis and then I'll check back in on this in a little bit. It might take overnight, I heard, which makes it not incredibly fast moving of a science experiment. Yeah. All right, we'll check back in on this later. All right, Piper, can you tell us what happened with the rest of the experiment? What did it do? We put some paper towels in here, uh -huh. and, and Mom put water in the other ones mm -hmm. now. It's kind of hard to tell what color it's turned into. Can you tell us what color this one is? What happened where the red met the yellow? It turned into yellow. It turned into yellow? It turned into orange. And where the red met the blue, sorry about the videography, it's turned purple yeah and where the yellow and blue met oh that one's really hard to see it's green <gasps> it's very green isn't it yeah yeah green. all right you should give it a try at home and see if your experiment works better than mine because mine wasn't super great so i want to see if you were able to do it hey don't shake the table all right all right, friends, I think that's all I have for you today. I hope that you learned a lot about the water cycle, and I hope that you have some fun ideas to try at home with your family. I hope that you are enjoying your time with your family, that you are creating some fun new memories. Thank you to everybody who's an essential worker for all the work that you're doing to help us stay home and stay safe. Um, and I hope that I will get to talk to y'all soon. Please put things in the comments. I'd love to see what you're working on at your houses, okay? Right, bye. I miss you.